Ah, you, ship service technician. Got anything we... you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. No, no, no. <clears throat> to quote my old friend, we have a lot to talk about. Oh, well, we're getting quite the... Um, we are getting quite the um, fleet, really, aren't we? what this thing's supposed to be but it's got everything and I can't fly it so C reactor I haven't got that level of piloting yet but it does have a lot of cargo I'll give it that and it's pretty tough too space of raven Varun him I mean there's the cannon the frontier and the ecliptic rapier. So now it's been. Do we need to register it? Do we need to register a few others? I'm sure there's another one I haven't registered yet. I'll have a. Right, there's that razor leaf. Look at that thing. See, um, but then again, if I take the razor leaf to do the undercover mission with the pirates, well, the razor leaf is supposed to be. Um, it's supposed to be like a, a an urban myth, shall we say, of things, something that kills them and chases them down. So probably not the best one to turn up in. This thing, maybe, but it suggests I've got, like, the potential to have a big crew. You know, there's the frontier, but that's aligned with Constellation. As is the glass cannon now, it's getting quite the reputation for killing ships. So that leaves me with the Varun Him, which is, uh, I mean, I like the whole matte black thing, because you know, you're in space. Look out the window, it's hard to spot. Unless you've got electronics, you're not going to spot them, are you? And the Space of Raven. So that sort of leaves me with the, the Raven, the Space of Raven, the Him. Or the rapier. And I think the rapier might be a bit big and, you know, it's a class B. It might come across a bit too much like I've got a big crew. And I'm trying to be like, oh, I'm a lone wolf. You know, just the one part of the kind of underground type person. Yeah, I mean, would it take... Who would it possibly, possibly take from Constellation with me under undercover? Um, hmm, possibly Andresia, but I don't think she's that bad, is she? I mean, she can be a bit determined, but I don't think she would put up with me killing people to keep my cover intact. So it might have to be Vasco, and if it's Vasco, I mean, if it's Vasco, I might as well just take the Raven. As it is, what we are doing is swapping back to the cannon because, well, we need to, uh, I'm glad, no. Oh, is it register? Ugh. Yes, and then, um, anything else need registering while I'm here? Oh, that did. Ugh. All my money's gone on registering these bloody things. That, oh yeah, that doesn't need registering. It's been sold to me. Right. In that case, let's get back into the cannon for now. Right. Yeah, thanks, mate. My uh, friends are going to turn up with the cannon in a minute. And now that I've registered with you, the other ones are going to take back off. So, yeah, see you later. Right. We are... Uh, well, we're basically training, aren't we? What's that? Heat leeches, yeah. What are you doing heat leeches? Let's get inside. Yeah, mining colony of Sidonia. Okay. I my whole life in a bubble. We still haven't really tamed Mars. No, I'm not surprised. Uh, that one. 
Okay, I probably should swap that amp for something else. I'll just move it around a bit. Tell you what, I might even swap it for another power or another weapon. But what I'm thinking, Sam, is I might start carrying just the four weapons. Silenced. A silenced weapon, a long range weapon, uh, with a scope, medium range, and, and, and a loud pistol. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Because I am carrying a ridiculous amount of weapons around, let's be honest. Can't fit them all on my uh, favourites. And if I can't do that, what's the point in having them? So yeah, I've got to keep that thing. Probably that, because it's got a ridiculous amount of ammo. It could do with more firepower, but perks might help with that. Calibrated Lawgiver. I might even have a better one than that now. I can't remember. Urban Eagle, I've got something that's better than that, but it doesn't have as much ammo. So, at the minute, we're using things up. Did I get my ammo? It'd be a whole lot better to visit if you can just yes, bulldoze this place. Well, that was, like, sweet and cheery. People live here, you know. And it's our fault that they live here. Well, not ours. But people going after the uh, magnetic things. The miners pretty much run the lower levels here. Good. Um, do you know where I can find a guy called Trevor? He, uh, he suggested I might be able to do a bit of freelance work for him. Any ideas? Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Yeah, that was your way of saying go away. Uh, Trevor! Trevor! Oi! Shoot! Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Haven't I seen you in here before and you're just like, yeah, I'll come back to you. I forgot all about you. I'm sorry, yeah, that's a bit rude, isn't it? I forgot all about you, being it? What? She skills. <laughs> hey, good to see you again. Still think there might be room for me on your crew? Well, definitely. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can. Why not? Okay, I'm game. I could use a break from the soul system. Well, I'll tell you what you can do, my friend. Head over to Constellation's Hidden Gem and introduce yourself to um, Lynn and Hella. They could probably Give do me a few with to the get my uh, things together. company. Then I'll get to work. See you in the space lanes, Captain. Yeah. Right. Go over there, uh, get on top of the, the freighters. Make sure to bring in the materials in. And uh, I might take you out from we time to time. We have to instantly jump across the universe. You'd think someone would have invented a way to keep rocks out of boots. Good point. I've got me... I've got me suit trapped on something. Sam? I've got... Sam, help me. I've got my jacket trapped on something. Ugh. This here is the most important yeah. work in the galaxy. You didn't see that. We mine the resources that make spaceships possible. Yep. Lots and lots of iron. Cigarette. This is nothing of importance. Hello, anybody? Mars Hi. is ripe with resources, which means there's always going to be plenty of work. Have you seen a guy called Trevor? No. Sometimes I wish I'd taken an easier job. Yeah, I used to do mine in this. No, I still do sometimes. Has anybody seen Trevor? No. Hmm. Fine. Yeah, I know. I'm just sorry. I'm just. Excuse standing. me. What? Fancy seeing you here. Outpost management specialist. Oh, I. Yeah. I'd love to give you a job, but I think Lynn would get really unimpressed if I sent someone to take her place. I'm good. Has anybody seen Trevor? No one hey can there. find Trevor. Demos hey there. Yards may be the first major ship manufacturer. But that I, I don't need a drink right now. I've got more than enough work to complete mm. before I can go home. Uh, right. Doesn't look like Trevor's in here. Security office. Trade authority outpost. UC exchange. We're like medical. 
Oh, there's more here than I thought there was. What's up here? Deimos Styar Engineering. Okay. Ah, yeah, let's not just wander into classified areas with guards pointing their Ain't guns. Ain't you brave coming to see a bona fide tracker? I've seen you before. I mean, I don't work for you. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, darling. You look like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. The Trackers Alliance can always no, use I'm not more work for you. Who am I thinking of? and kill wanted criminals. If that feels like your speed, talk to me. Or check out our posts on the mission boards. Well, I do need to get better at fighting, but... Yeah. So, you're the Trackers Alliance. I assume that's what the fancy name is for bounty hunters these days. Oh, darling. We're the baddest bounty hunters in the settled systems. Okay. People pay us to find criminals, scum, and other low lives when they don't want to or can't track them down themselves. So, any good bounty hunting stories? Ooh, should I tell you? Yeah. Uh, what the hell? It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. Good. Go so, on. I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship, board without him knowing, and I literally catch him with his pants down, getting ready for the day or something, I don't know. Anyway, ah. before he can react, I tackle him to the ground to cuff him, and he lets off a sly quip, thinking he's got game, but I don't take kindly to that kind of an advance. See? <laughs> and well, bounty <clears throat> says alive <clears throat> or dead, so I make the call and I put him down. Anyway, well, it turns out it wasn't the right guy, uh, but this guy was also wanted. What are the odds, <laughs> right? Right. Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, yeah, I can understand he made, a, he made an inappropriate comment while he was trying to get some up and you put him down. So, yeah. Do you have any uh, jobs if you're paying them? Good. If you recall, I'm only stationed here because of a mistake I made. Yeah? Been bugging me ever since the bounty that got away. Now, I heard rumors that this no-good, dirty quarry's been lurking around Mars, but I ain't oh, had I. the good fortune of him strolling on in here. I think he's smart enough to know better. Mm -hmm. I got a plan in place to find him, but I gotta prove to my other tracker contact that he's here. That's where you come in. Just gotta plan a sensor. No danger to you. Oh. Back about myself. No, this is personal, isn't it? Yeah, how does a sensor help you get this guy? He doesn't know it, but he's got a chip in him with a unique ID. Part of the reason he's learned to keep out of the major cities and settlements. Trackers always manage to find him when he comes to town, so he just stays away. But he's a slippery fella. That's why I want to send someone to catch him where he feels safe. Just along the outskirts. Sensors tuned to that chip. Makes sense now, don't it? Yeah, true. What about this guy we're tracking? Is uh, Do I need to avoid him by any chance? Ken Plakis. Smuggler. The worst kind. Deals in all sorts of black market goods. He's wanted uh -huh. for grand theft, human trafficking, murder, you name it. He's hmm. also extremely good at what he does. He's eluded the best of UC security for years. He's even slipped by our own trackers, myself included. I'm convinced he set me up to fail. Found a look-alike to unwittingly take a fall made me look bad so I'm sure you understand it's kind of personal yeah I get ya no it's too personal you don't want me doing it I'm in then come on all right so you're gonna want to take this here sensor and put it way up at the tippy top of the old Mars launch pad tower where it's nice and unobstructed you're going to want to make sure you've got a boost pack to help get yourself up there, or else it's going to be a tough climb. Mars gravity's on the low side, but not that low. Yeah. It'll track down my Mark's chip signal, assuming he shows, and I'll call in my partner to take care of him. Clear out and come back to me as soon as you're done so you don't spook the quarry. Get it? Got it? Good. Yep. Well, been nice talking to you. You do remind me of somebody, though. I could have sworn I talking to you before. I know it's talk, not talking, but hey. Right. 
Not many places older than Aquila. This old stories, old planet. Yeah. Last time I was here, I was with uh, Sarah. What trade authority? Okay, so we've got somewhere to sell the junk we've been collecting, which is good. Hello. Lots of stuff. Oh, Just ask. Right. Yeah. Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? Yeah. I'm Minaki. Feel free to ask me anything, and I'll do my best to help you out. Yeah, no problem. Well, um, well, yeah. What's the strangest thing you've seen come through here? While you're being polite, let's make some conversation. Yo. This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size, too. And? I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Ah, huh. well, they either went through you for some exotic f <gasps> neon fish. Someone bought the drugs. They just did it themselves. Or someone just really liked the fish and tried buying it outside, but he wouldn't sell it to them. Anyway. Hey, the trade authority. Yeah, I have heard this. And, the, I, and I don't mean this personally against you. Yeah, I've just dealt with someone rather awkward back on Jemison. Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is yeah. that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. Right. <laughs> and listen, I'm not going to worry about anything other than that. Okay, so that's that's uh, an unofficial yes. Yo, right. you're spacing out, huh? I am, yeah. Well, let's make a deal. Cool. That's what we do here. Good. Well, let's see what I have for you before I see what you have for me. Cheers. Yo, stay good out there. Yeah, you too. You too. Okay, Sam, I'm still overweight eh, with all the stuff I brought to sell. So let's keep looking. Oh, what's uh, Governor General, assuming they're in charge of the colony or security for the colony or something like that. Uh huh. Neon Demos enhanced. That what, what crimes do? at an all-time low around Sidonia. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, true. What do enhance actually do? What? Do you, you actually do? You know, touch up. I'm happy to help. Hi. I'd give anything for a transfer to another enhance office. Somewhere more white collar would be nice. What enhance? Do you get a lot of business in Sidonia? You'd be surprised, I think. There are many dangerous jobs on Mars. Mining, military training, manufacturing. As such, there are sometimes accidents. Therefore, it stands to reason there is a lot of reconstructive surgery to be done after the other doctors and surgeons do their work. Right. The work being done here at this enhanced branch may not be as glamorous as others, but it is no less important to those that receive it. Well, that's nice to know that you've got a positive attitude towards helping people with disfigurement. Goodbye. Yeah. So what? So it's not, you don't like so yeah it's cosmetics isn't it it's not like turning people into bog or something even though they wear those things on their face reliant medical hi uh uc exchange another shop hi hello there that's nice hello welcome to the sedonia uc exchange the best goods, all courtesy of the United Colonies, straight to all of the wonderful UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? But uh -huh. that's because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, browse my stock and let me know what I can get for you, friendo. Friendo, eh? 
Yeah, where are you actually from? That I can't pin your accent down. I mean, it just sounds Eastern European mixed with loads of other wacky stuff. Ah, yes, it is the accent. I have been asked this before. Do not worry, I take no offense. From a very young age, I spent most of my life among the stars, aboard one ship or another. I picked up many ways of speaking, many languages. Because of this, the way I speak sounds strange to some, but that is the price I pay for knowing all the languages I do. Oh, true. Right. Do you have any deals? Do I have any good deals, you say? Friend, though, I am full mm. of good deals. My price is maybe fixed by UC pencil pushers many worlds away, but I may find ways to work with you. Okay. For example, I buy things to refurbish and resell. You bring me these, I give you credits, and we make deals. <laughs> so you're pretty good at fixing things up. Okay. And you get all your stock directly from the UC that isn't sold to you for resell. The UC, my employer, they try to furnish my exchange with plenty, but other planets, they need more, so we need to make do with what we get. But me, I have other ways of getting goods to sell, and so I do. I get a little bit of this and that from yeah. here and there, and that is how I provide for you and me. You understand? I understand. <sighs> right, what have you got in stock? Take a look. Hmm. Goodbye. Hmm. Right. We are. Uh, what the hell is that thing? Whoa. Hi, people. Sorry. I'm planning on renting out a ship and going on a supply line. The face of Mars. So it's here. On July the 25th, 1976, the Viking 1 Arbiter spacecraft took its first photos of the Sidonia region of Mars. Amongst them, among them was an image of what appeared to be a humanoid face on the surface of Mars. The image inspired the imaginations of millions, cementing humanity's passion for space exploration and once again begging the question, are we alone out there? Later photography revealed that the face was no more than a mountain, shadows and perhaps humanity's greatest case of periodolia? Periodolia, a tendency to perceive specific meaningful imagery in an otherwise ambiguous or random visual pattern. Nevertheless, the legend of the face of Mars remains as an an important inspiration for many this day. Between citizens on both sides of the, yeah. the matter was moved to a closed door proceeding. But even that yeah, I know I jumped off the balcony, sorry. Sam, I'm being looked at funny by the locals. Why it's hard not to worry when your spouse is the one doing all the hard work down in the mines. Yeah, I can see that. Right. I'm gonna guess that this Trevor, was it? He's down here somewhere. See if he... What was it he needed help with? Yeah. I'm sure he said come and see him. Do you remember what he looks like? Well, he's not going to be the workers. And he's not going to be the guys with the guns. So I'm betting it's him over there because he isn't doing the manual labour and he has a clipboard. Hello, are you Trevor? I'm trying to remember, it's been a Lightning's while. Lightning's fair yeah, yeah. work, but you can't take it all so seriously, I always tell my mates. We're pulling rocks out of the ground, not building spaceships. Yeah, true. You know, I believe we've got the best mining team ever assembled here. Yeah. And you are the boss then, I assume, then, by that work. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked yep. hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older right. guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas. So that keeps them happy enough. Well, they could have gold they could have been a golfer too, couldn't they, if they wanted to be? Right. Yeah, how is the uh, mining operation going? Uh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. Good. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards. 
which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colonies' most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. You're literally the closest planet to our homeland. Ugh. Anyway, you said something about work. Now, sounds like you don't have any, but I did work for Argos at one point. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, uh, maybe you could yes. help me out with a job. Off the books. This is what you were suggesting before then, wasn't it? Go on. What is it? And it depends. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. Hmm, See, you might have trouble. noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem yeah. is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? Uh, I've got a plan vicious circle. for solving our little problem, though. Go on. Okay, glad you're still on board. For now. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Fine. Go on. Yeah, why not hire more miners? Because you've not got the money, have you? But go on, I'll do it then. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Right. So how much do you need me to mine? Gnome. What's up with gnome? Is gnome Sorry. broken? My clock function is currently inoperative. A watch may be a worthwhile investment for you. Huh. Hello, stranger. I am gnome. What can I do for you? Uh, What can you do for me? But you you have seen better days. Why are you sort of like just bleh, on the floor? What happened to you? I was activated 17 years ago. I malfunctioned and have been in disrepair and unable to move for over nine years. Repairs Whoa. are too costly and I am well past my warranty expiration. Now, my primary function is that of an automated personal assistant. It was chosen over deactivation. So what can you do then, now then, if you can't even move? I can make general announcements, and relay messages from one registered miner to another, and I can report about local news. All news and information has been supplied by employees of Deimos' mining operations. I Sounds also more like have propaganda then. with a limited selection of jokes, but I have been told to warn you, they are not good. <laughs> Go on. I mean, if you warn me, it's got to be, it's, it's either going to be ridiculously bad or so ridiculously bad that it's actually kind of funny. Why did the snowman need a moist towelette? Because his arms were sticky. Oh. I'm going to regret this, but tell me another one. My doctor told me I need to cancel my camping trip and sell my circus tickets. She said I needed to avoid activities that are intense. Intense. Oh. Get it? <sighs> I'm going to regret this, but tell me one more. Where does a general keep his armies in his sleeves? What's the latest announcement? Don't forget. This month's target goals have been increased by 5%. Failure to meet your new goal may result in termination of your current contract. Good thing you do not work here. <laughs> uh, but I, then I'd miss out on the ridiculously good uh, jokes to keep my spirits up. <laughs>